Hey everyone, hope you are doing well. So let's start with the question. So the question is broken calculator. Okay. So there is a broken calculator that has an integer start value on its display initially. In one operation, you can basically uh, multiply the number on the display by two, or you can perform an operation of subtract one from the number on display. Got it. So you have given a start value and you have given a target what you have to do you have to return the minimum number of operation needed to display target on the calculator okay so there is a start value that is given in the calculator and you can only perform two operation either you can multiply it by two or you can just subtract it by one and you have to make the start value equal to target in the minimum number of operation okay let's understand with an example so let's take this example so we have 2 as a start value and we have to make 3 as a target so what we can do is we can either multiply it by 2 or we can like subtract it let's say we subtract it so this will become 1 okay again we have either two operation multiply or subtract it so let's say here we multiply now it's become again 2 uh here again i have option to multiply or minus by one so let's say i operate two this will become four then again i have an option two or less than one so i can do a three or subtract okay so if you count like i got the target now if you count the operation this is uh, you can say one two three and four so i like i take the four operation but i can also do is it like after 2 I can multiply it by 2 so it will become 4 and after this I can deduct it so this become my target and this is take only 2 operations so I need to give in the minimum operation that is 2 let's take this example also so we have 5 and we have to make it 8 okay so what we can do let's say we multiply it so this will become 10 uh, into 2 again we have two operations so now 10 is bigger than 8 so let's say we deduct it by 1 so this will become 9 again this is greater so let's say we deduct it by 1 so this will become 8 okay so by this we are taking the three steps but we have one more approach let's say we deduct at start like minus 1 we make it 4 and then we just multiply it so this will become 8 okay so if you notice like this is an old number uh, like this 5 is a old number and we just deduct it by minus 1 this will become even and after this we just multiply it by 2 so we will take the advantage of this okay so let's see how we can take the advantage of this like if it is a old number then we do subtract and if it is a even number then we do multiply it because it will keep us to reach to the nearest location okay so let's understand how we can use the like we need the minus one for odd so let's see okay so let's understand with this example the flow which we understand in previous like if the number is even we can multiply it by two if the number is odd then we can basically subtract it okay so let's say this is the number so this is five and like we say like this is odd so what we can do we will subtract it it will become 4 now this will become even so we will multiply it and this will become 8 okay so for this case it just work but let's give you other so let's take an example of start as 3 and target as 10 okay so let's say this number is odd so we will subtract it this will become 2 now this number is even so you will multiply it so this will become 4 again this is even so you will multiply it then it will become 8 and again this is even so this is 16 okay so now you can say like we haven't reached our target but now our current number is greater than target so we can't go with this because from the start we can't identify whether a even number multiplied by 2 will give us the target or odd multiply because uh, if you multiply even number with 2 this is also an even and if you multiply a odd number sorry this is a odd number so this is also a even if, if you take a even number so this will be also a even so from the start we can't identify whether we are going in the correct direction or not but 
from the target we can identify so what we will do we will go from here so we will make target equal to start okay so what we will do we will reverse our operation so for multiply we will reverse it to divide and because we are making a bigger number to a smaller number and for subtraction this will become addition okay so we'll go with the same flow we will start from here so now our target is 8 and we have to make start as 5 so what we will do first step if number is even then this is like we can get the minimum step by dividing it by 2 okay so this will become 8 divided by 2 so this will become 4 now I can again reduce it so this become 4 and I take the operation as 1 at here now like before going to reduce it like my target is right now is 4 whenever my start value is greater equal to target what I will do I will just return from here so what I will do I will return start minus target okay whenever your you can say your start is greater equal to target so as you can see 5 is greater equal to 4 so this will return 1 from here and you have 1 from here so 1 plus 1 equal to 2 so you got the operation in 2 let's take this example okay so we have 10 and we have to make 3 okay so first step this is even number what we will do we will divide it by 2 so this will become 5 after this this is the one operation now the number is odd uh, like by multiply or dividing I can't make a odd number so if it is a odd number we just make it a even number how can I make it I will add a number to it so this will become 6 and this will have one cost to it now this is a even number and the best I can got the like I can reduce it dividing it by 2 so I will divide it by 2 so this will become 3 and I got the one operation so this is 1 2 3 so these are the three steps I hope you got why we are going from target to start because if we go from the start and if we say like this is a odd number we will just reduce it and we will like we can't reach to an infinite in the negative way so that's why we are going from target to start and solving a bigger problem to a smaller problem so let's write the code for this okay so what we will do if our target modulus 2 like it's a even number what you have to do you have to just add 1 to it and call the function broken Kelsey give the start value and reduce your target by 2 divide by 2 if it is a odd number what you have to do you have to do return 1 plus broken Kelsey so we have reversed the operation for multiply it will be divided and for subtraction it will be a, a addition target plus 1 okay so we have created our you can say recursive case but we have to write our base condition also base condition is if your start value is greater or equal to target you don't have to go further you just return from a start value minus target uh, like this is the reason we are going from target to start value because from the start if we multiply a even number also it's become even and if we multiply our number that is also even so we can't identify whether which number we have to take so that's why we are reducing a target okay so let's run it so as you can see this is accepted let's submit it hope it will run so our code is submitted uh, the time complexity for this is we are like if it is a even number what we are doing we are dividing a number by two so we are solving a bigger problem and then we divide every time we do the half of the problem and if it is a odd we what we are doing we just make it a one plus one and it's become even so this is a order of one of constant but this you can say every time you are dividing a number every time you do it so this will cause you a order of log n and the space is just a stack space so if you neglect that so it's a order of one approach hope you like it thank you for watching my video and do join the telegram group if you have any doubt and any concern thank you